Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and today I'm here to give you another VS tutorial, this time teaching you how to use your compositions on Studio Preson Studio One into VS. This was the way that we found out how to connect VS into Presonus. It was the best way we could find. So if you find any other way or a different way it might be easier to connect them, please tell us. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So here I have four tracks, uh, one with a kick, a snare, a hi-hat and a bass. First of all, I have to tell you that this will only work on the professional version of uh, PreSonus Studio One, not on the Prime version and free. So have that in mind. So the four tracks that we have sound something like this. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do to insert VS here is to open as a bus channel here. And we go to the inserts and here we grab VS effects and we put it on the inserts. So now we have VS here. And now let's start routing. So first thing I have to do is add tracks and we have to duplicate the track. So I'm gonna add an instrument track here. And I'm gonna basically grab the, this track of the kick and put it here. I'm gonna change, call this kick MIDI. I'm actually gonna change the names of this track. So kick, snare, hi-hat, bass and here on the midi track what i have to do is drop this down and choose on here on the first drag down menu choose vsfx and as you can see i'm choosing vsfx channel one so right now if i put play and open up my rvs i can already see here the light on the channel playing and it's channel one so basically I can now trigger MIDI and it's being triggered by the kick. So now let's add another track, add the instrument track. I'm gonna copy now the second, the snare. I'm gonna call it snare MIDI. Change here to like before, VSFX, now channel two. And if I go back to VS, second layer, put on channel two, trigger MIDI, let's choose another layer here, a shader for the snare. It can be this eye of Agamotto enabled. Okay, so we have it triggered by the snare. Let's go for the hi-hats now. Again, F, instrument track. Let's call it now hi-hats MIDI. Um, hi-hats MIDI, and now let's route the hi-hats MIDI to VS. Channel three, let's open a VS, grab a, a shader here for the, um, the hi-hats. It can be, for example, these little particles here, enabled. Let's now channel three, trigger MIDI. Change the color of this to a yellow, for example. Now the hi-hats are been triggering these yellow lines. And now finally let's go to the bass. So add instrument track. Change the track to bass MIDI. And now 
grab the MIDI track, copy it, route the MIDI track to VS, channel 4, and now we have the bass on VS. Channel 4. Okay, now let's choose a layer here for our bass. Let's do this circle. Put this a red circle, make it smaller. And now, for example, let's automate the notes here. And as you can see, the notes, the X position of the circle is being modulated by the notes of the bass. You can see it clearly. Now, finally, let's route the audio into these tracks. So now, So now what I need to do is just route the sound the, to the um, to the tracks. So here, when I'm sending the on the audio track, when I'm sending the audio here, it's going to main. So what I have to do is change it to bus one. And I'm gonna put everything, so the bass and the sound. So now bus one, and I go here to VS. And now I can see that the auto is already being routed here. So now I can go to the layer five, for example, enabled, and choose, for example, this great ball of fire to be triggered by the audio. So I'm gonna put brightness at zero. And as you can see, it's already being modulated because here I have this one modulation. Then I can put, for example, amplitude modulation one. And come back here and increase the gain. And as you can see, it's being triggered by this threshold. If I increase the threshold, nothing. If I put it down, it will be triggered. And this is how you route MIDI and audio into PreSonus Studio One Professional. And this was it, guys. I hope this was easy to follow. We will be having more uh, content coming up, so please give us a like and subscribe. That means a lot to us. I will say goodbye for now and see you on the next video.